Cool Truckings. It was winter time, and a thick blanket of snow covered the island of Sodor. Madge, the snub-nosed truck, was making her deliveries. The icy roads were very slippy and very slidey. But Madge didn't slip and slide. She was safe and sure. One day, Thomas arrived at the transfer yards. He had to collect a large delivery of coal. Madge was there, and so was Mr. Percival. He was worried. A snow slide has blocked Duncan's tracks, he said, and I need him to shunt the coal cars from the other side of the yard. I'll get him, said Madge happily. Madge liked to be helpful. Duncan is very heavy, said Mr. Percival. Don't worry, sir, said Madge. I'll bring him here in no time. And she raced away. <laughs> Duncan was winched onto Madge's trailer. Duncan was very heavy, but Madge was sure she could pull him. She roared and revved, and slowly she pulled away. Madge drove carefully along the country roads. She was being safe and sure. Soon Duncan started to tease her. You always go so slowly, Duncan laughed. We'll be lucky to get to the transfer yards by supper time. I always do my job safely and on time, said Madge. But it'll be a slow and dull journey, puffed Duncan. Not fast and exciting, the way we engines like it. Madge sighed. She didn't want to be teased anymore. She turned up a narrow mountain road. Where are we going? Duncan chuffed. I'll show you how much fun we have on the roads, laughed Madge. Wait and see. Madge was still going slowly. You call this fun? puffed Duncan. Maybe not, said Madge. But what about this? And Madge skidded her wheels. Her wheels made the snow spray up onto the side of the road. Well, hey, that was good, cheered Duncan. Do it again. So Madge skidded her wheels and sprayed snow all along the road. Duncan cheered as Madge sprayed the trees. And then the bushes. She even sprayed a policeman. Sorry, said Madge. They were having so much fun, they had forgotten all about getting to the transfer yards. 